crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on here with a little haul. So some of these items I've purchased from Timu and AliExpress and I thought I would share with you what I grabbed. So the first thing I think I might show you is from Timu. So I ended up grabbing a couple of cutting dies which I thought were really cute. And I know a lot of you have probably seen these items going around or these cutting dies, but um, I thought I would try out this cute little vintage telephone cutting die. I thought it was super cute. Comes with all the parts, comes with a dial, it comes with the cord. So I've got that, I might put that, um, I'll just put that over there for the moment. I then, I ended up wanting one of those cute little backpack cutting dies. So um, I saw my good friend, uh, Alicia, who's Alicia's um, crafty hoplop, or that's what she used to be called. I can't remember if it's the same now, <laughs> but um, you guys all know Alicia Wagman and um, yeah, she made some cute little uh, backpacks recently and I thought I would get on the little backpack bandwagon as well. I do believe this one's probably a bit different. There, there are quite a few um, different backpack dies out there. Um, this one, I believe, I think you can put like um, slide paper in and out of the backpack to make it look like a little like a school book coming coming out so um i have a feeling that's what that one does so you got all these little pieces here you've got like a ruler you've got glasses and i believe you can have them yeah probably popping out of the backpack a pencil very very cute I'll just take it out of the bag so you guys can see it properly. Just gonna find where it's opening on a funny way. Opening backwards. Comes with some word pieces. It says great job and you rule. <laughs> Which is really cute. Uh, so the next thing I grabbed was uh, this like suitcase. It's meant to kind of be like a suitcase bag. I did think it was going to be a lot bigger. I thought it was actually going to come to me basically like a boombox size in real life. But it's this tiny little case. But either way, it's extremely cute. I just thought for the price that I paid for this, it's, um, it is on the smaller side, but it is super adorable. And I thought this would look really nice sitting in my craft room, not to use as like a handbag, but to use as a storage, storage case to pop some things in and stick it on my craft shelf. It just looks really cute. So I believe, I think it was around... $29 from memory I can't quite remember but I'll try and leave yeah the link down below and it did come in different colors as well and it also comes with a strap um, so you can carry it around if you wanted to like use it as you know your handbag but yeah it's a nice um, solid sturdy suitcase the um, the faux leather on it, it's a tiny little bit lumpy, but um, either way, I think that's really adorable. So yeah, I'm not too fussed really about the price because it it's pretty cute. And you know, I've never seen anything like this around. So, and I love my, my retro 80s, you know, <laughs> vibes. So anything to do with the 80s, I love. So 
yeah very cute that is um so the next thing that i ended up grabbing is i found these um pocket sleeves that you can pop in an album uh, but they're like an iridescent holographic page pocket so i thought that was really cool um they're a5 laser um you get four grids and you get 10 sheets just trying to see where you can open them so i thought these would be really fun um for, to do pocket letters with that um pretty iridescent shine that they have on them and you get four four little pockets and this is good for if you're doing, you know, flat mail or wanting to do, like, send off happy mail that's a bit, you know, smaller, um, you know, more efficient to post. So, yeah, they're really cute. And, yeah, I just love the, the A5 size. So, yeah, you could use those to go in your albums or you could use them, yeah, what I'm using them for, which is I'm going to use them for my, to do some pocket letters. So I haven't done that in such a long time. So I pop them there. Okay. Um, the other item I have from Timu, I guess it's not really craft related, but it, but it is in a way. <laughs> so I haven't opened this yet. It's it's a canvas um, print of Frida Kahlo, and it looked so beautiful. I thought it'd be really nice to pop in a nice wooden frame and hang either in my lounge room or my craft room. So I'm not sure if I can... I don't know how I get into this one because it's been taped. Um, hold on. Here's something. So I thought I'd show you guys anyway, just for the fact that I think because she was an artist and full of creativity, that is craft related. So let's see what it looks like. I hope it's um, just as good as, you know, the picture. It was a really good price for this. Um, I have a feeling I may have only paid $11. I can't quite remember. Um, I do place quite a few orders, so I can't remember how much things are. All right. So I will need to um, flatten this out. Oh my gosh, I can already tell. It's going to be so gorgeous. And it's so big. So it's on canvas. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I'll just flatten that out and put that in a frame and hang it on the wall. That is a really good size and it came on this um like big sort of plastic tube piece that she could use for something but i just oh the colors in that for the price i paid for this like this is gorgeous love it that's so beautiful so, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's really lovely. So, I'll just move that off. It's actually not too bad as far as, I think because it's canvas, I'm not going to have any trouble flattening it out whatsoever. It looks like it's pretty much almost like already flat. So, as soon as I put that into a frame... That is um, 
going to be perfect. So the last things I have to share with you are some items from AliExpress. So I grabbed some things from the KS Craft Store and also from, or I'm not too sure where these came from. They were from AliExpress, but I wanted um, some new like eyelets to try out in a smaller size and I wanted them in a pretty pink color. So I ended up finding these ones. Um, I didn't really want them to be, be silver. I thought that they were going to be like a pink and gold. Um, but that's okay. It does come with the pieces. What are they called? Are they like the sort of eyelet rings that you use for if you're using these on like gar garments and things like that, like clothes and bags. So I'll try these out, see what they're like. Um, they are a really nice sort of pretty pale, pale pink to the point where they're almost a lilac color as well. They're a bit of a pale pinky lilac color. So I'll have to try those out um, and see if they're any good or not. And from the KS Craft Store, I ended up grabbing some of the Halloween um, bits and pieces that they have there now, which are new. I've already grabbed a couple, um, which you would have seen in one of my last hauls um, from Ali. Uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and grab some more items that I really liked. So I grabbed this fun little Halloween mix here. It's got like all your purple, purples, blacks, whites and gold. There's like little um, eyeballs and stars, tiny little like black bats. So I saw this on um, YouTube through the KS Craft Store um, YouTube channel and that, you know, they made these themselves and I thought they were really cool. So that's pretty. So, and then I thought I'd grab this fun shaker mix. Lots of sequins in this one. You've got some pretty pink, uh, sort of transparent glittery sequins. You've got some little like yellow and blue and purple bats and green. They're like little um, Polly McClay pieces. We got some sprinkle ones as well. So a whole heap of um, sequins and polymer clay slices in this, this mix. Yeah, I thought that was really pretty. And then I grabbed a couple of dies. I believe um, this one I think was a freebie because I didn't order this one, but it came with my order from Case Craft. So yeah, I think they have sent me a bonus gift. So thank you for that. And it's really cute for a bonus gift. I love it. Um, it's almost like they know who I am. <laughs> it's like a bird cage and a little bird um, cutting die. So that's super adorable. I don't have anything like this. And for those that, that know me well, know that I love birds. So yeah, that's that's really sweet. So um, the other items are still like Halloween items that I was wanting. So this cutting die here is like a coffin, coffin um, tag die, but you don't have to use it as a tag. When I saw it, I didn't see it as, as a tag. I saw it, um, I thought it'd just be really cute to have like that, um, like I could make it into like shaker coffin embellishment. And you could pop that onto like, if you were making a box or an album, you get so many different pieces. Look at all these. You get some words. I believe that's, ooh, what does that say? Does that say tr trick? I'm just trying to read 
and backwards <laughs> you know what that's like but there you can see there's the like tag bit for if you want to turn these into cute little um like coffin gift tags or like make a really cool um tag flip that's yeah coffin shaped so i thought they were really cute yeah i think this says treat so hmm is there an or that's i know that says treat that says trick is it meant to come with a piece that says or i'm not too sure um I know that Tony from Craft Purge ended up getting this this die as well, so I'll have to go back and have a look at her video to see if there's meant to be a an or word piece with this. Um, it doesn't look like there was. It looks like if anything that was probably attached to this or attached to. I'm not too sure because it's sort of come apart, but maybe you just do. Um, create the ore by yourself I have no idea <laughs> so sorry I know that's not much help to you but yeah I'm gonna go have a look into that to see whether or not it's meant to have an ore piece because it's there's just a word that says trick and then there's a word that says treat so um yeah so I'll look into that but Either way, super cute, and I absolutely love the size. So I'm really looking forward to start um, Halloween crafting now. And then I thought I'd grab some really fun, uh, scary words, because I don't really have many. Um, you know, I've only been doing sort of Halloween crafting over the last few years, and it hasn't been a lot. It's only been maybe like one... Halloween swap each year so I'm sort of still building up my Halloween stash so this word piece we've got by the looks of it we've got boo um, hmm why is it so hard to read I think this one says haunted. Yep, so I think we've got haunted. I think we may have. Oh, that looks like spooky to me, but I could be. Or spooked. Um... It is really hard trying to read backwards. Ho -ho -po Potion? I think that one says potion but either way these are all like Halloween um, related uh, cutting dies I think Halloween words so and then I love that they come with the layering back piece so you can put a nice um, you could put a nice black cardstock in the background and then stick a colored or a glitter word over the top and they'd look really cool so yeah there we go there's my recent ali and timu haul hope you guys enjoyed and um yeah stay tuned i've got um an order that i'm waiting on from scrapbook.com as well and also some more uh timu timu um hauls to go as well so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one Bye.